So this video is gonna help you with interpreting parabolas in context. So we're gonna be given a situation and it looks like there are a lot of words, but ultimately what we're going to do is boil this down to what is it asking me to find um, and then do what it's asking. So this says Mia kicked a football. The function F models the height of the ball above the ground in meters as a function of time in seconds after Mia kicked it. So X is seconds. And then Y is gonna be height in meters. Plot the point on the graph F that corresponds to when the ball hit the ground. So think about she's kicking the ball. It goes up, up, up. At some point it turns down. And then once we get to Y is zero or when the height is zero, that's when the ball's hitting the ground. So when Y is zero, we have it's four seconds. And then just visually picturing that, it makes sense for when that hits the ground. Our next one says, Josie throws a stone off of a bridge into a river. The function F models the stone's height in meters above the water as a function of time in seconds after Josie throws it. So height in meters and then time in seconds. Plot the point of, um, plot the point on the graph of X, F, that corresponds to the height of water from which Josie threw the stone. So just thinking, when time is zero, this is when she throws the stone. So it starts here, it goes up, and eventually it goes down, and then it hits the river. So it's asking me to find when she threw the stone. So what's my starting point? Well, it's going to be right here. She's standing on a bridge, so she's above the water. That makes sense. Time is zero. It's when it's starting. Check and move on. So this bold part here is going to tell you what we're looking for. Um, so make sure you're reading that carefully as you're moving the point to match what it's asking. 